Now the last one I'm definitely going to have to go off the slides for because I really cannot pronounce this word or spell it. But the last test is called the xanthoproteic test or reaction. And this is used to test the presence of aromatic groups within amines. So if we want to know if the amine we have it is an aromatic group, we would run this reaction. So it's the test itself is pretty simple. What we're going to do is going to react nitric acid at high temperatures with our amino acids. We're going to heat it up, add the, add the concentrated nitric acid, and let it cool back down. Now, when we add the nitric acid, it's going to turn yellow. And if there are aromatic groups present, it will begin to change to orange. Now, you can kind of see this when you get nitric acid on nitro gloves. So nitro gloves don't contain the aromatic groups, and so your nitro gloves will actually turn yellow when you get the nitric acid on them. They're basically being in the presence of the, well, your nitro gloves contain the seeing group. Like, there's a lot of chemistry that goes on there, but that's kind of where you get that yellow color from. Now, if it tor turns orange, it's because we're forming xanthoproteic acid derivatives. Now, I looked far and wide to figure out what these things were because I saw them in textbooks and saying, oh, it makes this derivative, it makes this derivative. And absolutely no book I could find as of recording this video gave any indication to what it is. So finally, I dug down into this obscure article and they said that, okay, they're more theorized compounds. They should exist, but they're non-isolatable, which is why I'm not going to write it up on the board for you here. But when you run this test, once you start trying to isolate these acid derivatives, they further self-react with themselves and each other to degrade into what really isn't the final product of this reaction. But the big thing is that if you take nitric acid, heat it up with the amino acid, cool it down, and you see the shift to orange, you've got proof positive there that you actually have an aromatic group attached to your amine and this kind of narrows it down as to what type of amine or the identity of the amine that you're working with.